Yo, what's going on guys? DJ has here and I'm bringing you guys a gun review game with the Vector and this is uh, my fifth SMG. My I have one left which is the Chicom uh, for my diamond uh, gun gameplay but I heard that there's actually going to be another um, gun that's going to be added in the DLC that's an SMG so kind of crazy that they're actually doing that but anyway this is a decent game for myself. I ended up getting dogs and swarms. It's not a crazy KD or anything like that but uh, but I always try to play the objective pretty well and, and cap my, my um, tags or pick up any tags that I find. Obviously you get a lot of points for them so it's helpful. Um, but this is a, a decent game in, in my mind. Um, with the gun, now this gun is, uh, I don't know what to say about this gun quite frankly. I, I don't hate this gun but I don't absolutely love it either. To me the iron sights are just a bit funky. Um, I prefer some of the other guns, the MSMC, um, definitely the, the PDW iron sights to this gun. Um, but obviously the Vector was in Modern Warfare 2 from, from back in the day, and I don't remember what other Call of Duties, honestly, it was in. Uh, it's a decent gun. The clip size is, is a little bit too sh shallow, and the the fact of the matter is, is you run out of ammo uh, pretty easily. And I'm using extended mags on this guy, and it's still... Like, here's the thing. Like, the PDW, to me, shoots straighter. The the rate of fire is a little bit better, and I can I can pull out multi-kills. Three, I'm talking like three kills, uh, triple kills or whatever or, or so with that gun, um, with the PDW. But with the Vector, even with the uh, extended mags, I don't feel like I can get triple kills very easily. Unless they're all lined up and not looking my direction, um, I'm not really able to make it happen. So that's kind of like, uh, look at this, man. This is, a, this is why I was frustrated. This could have been a great game. Uh, the spawn on this was just complete horseshit. Like I was right there. I called in my orb sat, and then they, all the dudes respond right next to me. And since I just recently killed one there, I was like, I know that they, they're going to be able to get me. So, and, and then look at this. I was like, what? How did I just get quick scoped in the face off that? I had the upper hand. It's crappy when you die off of something stupid, and you have an orb sat up, and you know where the dude is, and, and they still end up uh, getting the upper hand and killing you. And that guy just about got me again, man. I, sometimes I swear some of these guys have... have uh, <laughs> uh, what is the the per juggernaut or something like that? I mean, they have like perks or something where where I can't kill them. It feels like at least. But uh, and I'm always picking up another gun. That's one thing that maybe scavenger could help if I wanted to try to run scavenger because I'm always always picking up other guns to try to uh, to either a get a gun that has a longer distance or b um, just pick up something else because I know my gun is going to be out of ammo. And this guy had Ghost on, I think, or what? Yeah, I think my own teammate ended up getting that guy, but I would just about die right there. Um, all in all, though, I'd have to give the Vector, like, in, in a chart, like, definitely, so far out of the five that I've used, the, uh, definitely the PDW is my favorite uh, SMG, hands down. Uh, the clip size in that gun is 50, and it's just better. Bigger and better, um, in my opinion, than most of the other guns. Second place would be the MSMC because of the damage on the gun is amazing, and, and um, it shoots very straight. This gun, the Vector, to me is probably a third. Um, I actually do. I think I like this gun better than MP7, but that's only because it feels like it shoots straighter to me, and that's odd to have to say because the MP7 was so decent before. But for me, I can't shoot straight with it. Um, but uh, and then that would put the MP7 in next. And then the Scorpion at a dead, 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 dead last place because that thing was horrible for me. The rate of fire just was too much and it couldn't shoot straight in my hands. It was just, I know I'm supposed to burst fire, but I couldn't even burst fire that thing. It just was horrible. And right here I was trying to play it a little bit more cautious because I ended up dying last time on my orb sat and I was not able to get another uh, dog and swarm. That's the thing that I've been having a lot of problems with, man. I have a lot of orb sats up where I, I get them from time to time here and there and then I sometimes... I end up either dying one before I get the orbs at or during my orbs at. I, I'll, if I'm lucky, I might get dogs, but I definitely don't get swarms. Sometimes it just gets a little bit uh, annoying. But uh, but this time I ended up making it happen. And look at this. I forgot about that. Your own friggin' swarm can kill you. Like, what in the hell? I, I just lost my kill streak because my own swarm killed me. Like, uh, this, this, um, this gameplay was riddled with fails. I was so pissed. I was like, how did... That's happened to me before, actually. So... I think when I start getting swarms from now on, I might. It's hard not to want to play aggressive because your uh, your orb sat's up, right? And so you want to be able to kill the dudes while you can. But if you step outside and you get too close to the dudes, you can end up dying, like what just happened to me. So I guess uh, keep that in mind. Um, all in all, though, the the vector is a decent gun. The the downside is you have to compromise a uh, a slot. And so for this gun, I, I definitely like to use it silenced. Um, and I got looks like I got 
blown up there. The guy was just chilling and camping on the side. Awesome, nice job. Um, but uh, what I was saying is that this one has 48 bullets with the extended mag, so I have to use extended mag to compensate for what the PDW does normally, which means I have to give up one of my my 10 slots uh, because in order to run it silenced and with uh, with the um, grenades. Wait, what am I trying to say here? To run it silenced and extended mag. Uh, I have to take up two slots, which means I lose one, which is grenades. That's what I was trying to say. So I don't have grenades uh, set up on the class with the uh, silencer and extended mags. And look at the lag right here at the end. The other class that I have set up is um, the same exact class, but I only have extended mag with no silencer. And then I have grenades for mostly for domination because I like to be able to throw grenades on the, the grenade spots and stuff. But um, that was kind of a nice little lag out right there. Um, but that's pretty much it. I mean, I don't have any technical things to say about this gun. I'd say give it a try if you haven't used it, but it's this short clip size with the rate of fire. It's a little bit higher rate of fire than, at least in my hands, or at least it feels like it, than the PDW. Um, and it, all in all, it's a good gun. It shoots fairly well. You can get burst fires from, you know, medium medium to long range if you, if the person really is lame and just sits the whole entire time. But, um... Short range, medium range is a great gun. There's 41 and 8, not a great thing. 20 confirms though, and I did uh, get a, a swarm and dogs, and of course that that uh, fail. Actually, I got a couple different fails on this one. So yeah, I can't believe my own swarm killed me though. What the heck, man? Not not very cool. Anyway, hope you guys like these uh, impromptu gun reviews. I'll be doing the uh, what is it? The last one, the Chicom is the last one, and then I'll do some uh, diamond gun gameplay. Uh, after that. So have a good one. Thanks for stopping in. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. You like the commentary and the gameplay. And we'll catch you guys later. Thanks.